The first question is, uh, what kind of drug gangs are you? Back, back in the old days, we saw huge gangs, that, and they were be t one would be taken down, like Pony Down, Chambers Brothers, and another one would come up, Young Boys Incorporated was one of the earlier ones. Are, are we seeing small gangs this time, and, and what, what kind of gangs are out there here? We're seeing small gangs within the city of Detroit have loose ties to Flint, Michigan, Pontiac, Michigan, and as well up to the UP. Yeah. But what we're really seeing during uh, DEA investigations are the investigations of the Mexican cartel, which does have an influence within Michigan. And do they have, a, do, do the cartel uh, have members here who are helping distribute? And Yes, are, they do. Yes, they do. Specifically distribution, money laundering, yeah. couriers, yeah. and contacts with distribution from kilograms yeah. down to street level. And so they're not actually doing the, the, the street sales, they're, they're, they're the sort of the wholesalers for the, for the gangs? Well, no, they're doing both. They're doing both. There, are, there, are, there, are, there are sales from the Mexican cartels. Uh -huh. And they've set up their own they set up their own distribution as well. Uh -huh. And then they also sell to the street gangs as well. Okay. Interesting what we're seeing in Michigan. Right is that we will see investigations that have direct ties, direct ties to Mexican cells mm -hmm. or to another city along the southwest border, and then that cell has a direct connection with the Mexican cartel. Okay. And, and what kind of drugs are we seeing out there, primarily? Primarily heroin, uh -huh. cocaine, okay. marijuana, uh -huh. and then various pills. And is there one that is more popular than the other? I mean, is, is heroin more popular than marijuana, or is marijuana the most popular? Or? It seems right now the trend is heroin. Heroin is, is, seems to be spiking. It seems to be an issue throughout, throughout Michigan. Huh. As well, we see methamphetamine, but we see methamphetamine in the western part of the state and in the UP. We see violence in relation to the drug trafficking cells. Sometimes it could be over deaths. Sometimes it could be over product that wasn't the quality that the customer was, intend was intending to purchase. Okay. But we're not seeing the violence that we used to see between the distribution cells. And, and we always hear that uh, some of the outside groups are afraid to come into Detroit mm -hmm. to set up drug trade. Is, is that still the case? That, that's still the case, and that's also the case as well with customers who fear coming into Detroit to purchase their narcotics. They, they tend to sometimes arrange their narcotics transactions on the border of Detroit. You'll see some cells uh, live in Metro Detroit where they feel safer yeah. and um, come into Detroit to conduct business and then go back out to Metro Detroit to far suburbs and then where they'll live their other lives. And it's, it's pretty well known that a lot of criminals use social media, Twitter and Facebook. Has, are you surprised by sometimes how open some of the organizations are on, on their social media? Extremely, extremely. But it benefits all of us in law enforcement and, <laughs> the, and the attorneys for them to be like that. And, and the product that is coming in, is it coming in from the actual, the origin of the product? Is it coming from Mexico or Colombia or? Well, the cocaine, the cocaine is coming from Colombia. We have investigations that have direct ties to Colombia as well. But the, the cocaine is definitely coming from Colombia. But the marijuana, heroin, methamphetamine, we're seeing that from Mexico. Uh -huh. And it's coming through the southwest border and the southwest border up to Michigan. And, and are the Mexicans distributing the Colombian cocaine up here, though? There are cells of Mexicans distributing narcotics here, and there's other cells as well that we've identified.